G'day guys and welcome back to the channel. Welcome to my NRL round two tips. We've had a full round of footy. We head into a second round. Uh, last year at this point, the season was basically shut down. We were locked out. So uh, really good to be attending this game on Thursday night. Now guys, before I get into my tip and the team list, I just want to say that there will be a vlog. It will be very different if you've seen what's happening on the channel. A lot of the vlogs have obviously been removed due to fair reason. It would have been my 100th NRL vlog. I've, uh, I've already addressed it on Instagram, but guys, I would really like you guys to send a message saying how long you've watched the channel, what videos you've liked, and congratulating on 100 NRL vlogs. This channel has been extremely successful um, in the last few years, reaching a thousand subscribers, this goal. But for me, filming 100 NRL game-related vlogs throughout four years has just been an absolute journey to be on. So make sure you message at the Entertain House Instagram. Make sure the video only goes for maximum around 20 to 30 seconds max. Just a short little clip, but I want everyone to get involved. I'm gonna make a compilation video and put that out on Thursday morning as a little congratulation. But guys, let's get into the Storm and the Eels tip round one. <laughs> So yes guys, at Bankwest Stadium, my Parramatta Eels, who they didn't look great, did they? Uh, on Friday night against the Brisbane Broncos, down 16-0, made the Broncos look absolutely beautiful. But to the Broncos' credit, I thought their halves, as I said, looked really good. I thought their wingers stepped up in David Mead's return and Xavier Coates. Um, uh, obviously they've lost David Fafita from their four pack so I guess they were pretty good downfield as well with, with Alex Glenn and Tevita Pangai Jr. I think Tevita came off the bench if I'm not mistaken but anyway that's the Bronco let's talk about the Eels so Isaiah Papalihi was absolutely awesome and Reid Marnie was absolutely awesome and uh, both of those players obviously in the lineups now Isaiah Papalihi in jersey 15 once again off the bench Will Smith has been selected in jersey number 16, moving Ray Stone to the reserves. I'm not sure what I think of this. I quite like what I've seen of Ray Stone. Uh, Keegan Hipgrave has been put in the reserves as well. He's in jersey number 18. We welcome Murata Niakore back. He will play off the bench in jersey number 17. Really exciting battle with young uh, Dylan Brown, who's just been fantastic at running the ball. And his game control is getting better and better against a very experienced half in Cameron Munster. It's really good to see this full strength kind of storm side that we come up against. It's been a little while since I can remember us playing full strength and, and actually attending a game like that. It's been a few years. Uh, as for the storm, they're pretty much unchanged. Um, and uh, yes, yeah, so uh, this game's at Bankwest. Parramatta's record against the storm is, is quite poor. We obviously beat them at Bankwest 14 0 with an under strength side. Brandon Smith once again in that number nine jersey. Nelson Asifa, Solomona at lock. Uh, Nico Hines in the reserves in jersey number 18. So here's a chance. And Tyson Smoothie, who made his debut, gets jersey number 14 once again for the Storm. So look, guys, I'd love to see my Eels win. Um, I thought that they weren't great on the weekend, but they showed a lot of... Um, uh, what's the word? You know, not skill, but endurance. I guess endurance. They, they hung in there. I felt like they didn't show their opponent respect at the start of the match and they went into it a little bit, oh, this is going to be easy, but I felt this would be a different story. They'll go into this, but one thing I think that they'll use to their advantage is these Brandon Smith rumours. I don't think they're true, but I feel like Parramatta can use that to their advantage, especially being a home game. I can't tip us though, guys. Unfortunately, I'm not tipping the Eels here. I think the Melbourne Storm will win. I don't think they'll win 13 plus though. I think Parramatta can keep it closer. So I'm going to tip Parramatta to score 18 points, and I'm going to say the Melbourne Storm will score 30. Now last week, one of my tips of the week, uh, if you were following my Instagram, was Hudson Young to score a try at any time. This week's tip, it took him 17 rounds to score last year. He scored in the first round against the Melbourne Storm. Tip of the week, Blake 
Ferguson for this game to score a try against the Storm. I'm taking the Storm to win 30 points to 18 in game one. Moving on to the second game, which is at Central Coast Stadium on Friday night. I could easily attend this game, but guys, I'm actually doing a vlog for the Sydney Kings. I can't wait. Sydney Kings versus Melbourne United on Friday night. Little vlog with RXYSV2. It's been a while since you got to see him in a vlog, so really really looking forward to that but this game should be a cracker at 6 p.m i get to watch most of it while i'm on the train just make sure i take a portable obviously uh roger tulvasa shek he's not against star fullback kalen ponga tex hoy once again in that side kurt mann has been named in jersey number six against cody nikarima so good to see that he's overcome an injury uh you've got you and aiken out so it means that adam pompey gets a chance back in the centers with peter hiku um, I thought Ewan Aiken was great last week, so um, really um, unfortunate there. I really like the bench for the Warriors. Jazz Devaga, Alisa Nama, Bunty Ofoa, and Ben Murdoch Masilla. I think it's a fantastic bench. It mostly is forwards. Um, you could argue maybe Lisa Nama could come in and play a few positions on the field. I think he's very um, experienced and just getting better and better to watch. In jersey number 22 is Jack Murchie. Shame he's not in the side, but I can understand at this point uh, based on this lineup they have. Very underrated last week was Bailey Siren, and I thought he had a fantastic game, so looking forward to seeing more of him. Uh, they're up against the likes of, of David Klemmer, uh, Daniel Saifidi, Mitch Barnett, Tyson Frizzell, and Connor Watson. So I mentioned this in my five hot takes, um, but I think these four packs are absolutely outstanding. Who do I think will edge it, though? Well, I feel like the Knights' attack is going to be a little bit better here. I think both of the teams will defend. I don't think it'll be too high scoring. I mean, I've got a high score-ish, but not not out there. Um, just a fair scoreline. But it's like the Knights to win this one by four. I think it'd be an incredibly close game, but I feel like the Knights will edge it out uh, at Central Coast Stadium. The Warriors have been great at Central Coast Stadium, but I just feel like the Knights, they look a lot better um, than previous seasons. It was only round one, but I read into that as I will. Taking the Knights to win 22 points to 18. Game sees the Gold Coast Titans, who are coming off a 19 to 6 loss against the Warriors after being hyped to win that game, uh, including myself. Everyone just tipped the Titans, tipping the Titans. They're going to make the eight. They're going to make the eight. All this hype on the off season, and I kind of bought into it. Um, up against the Broncos, big brother versus little brother. This is at Seba Super Stadium. The Broncos love to win here. They love to win at this venue, and the Titans love to win at Suncorp. So, really interesting game here. I'm um, looking forward to Ash Taylor against Anthony Milford. Both halves had big games over the weekend, so I really would like to see more of that. Looking forward to Mitch Rain against Jake Turpin. Jake Turpin had quite a good game and thought Mitch Rain was in some form. So, uh, Tino Fasua Maali up against Patrick Carrigan should be a really nice battle there. Um, as for the Broncos, they have Tom Dearden in jersey number 18, and they have uh, Reese Kennedy coming off the bench in jersey number 15. Matt Lodge is out. Uh, Brian Kelly has been dropped for the Titans, uh, and so Philip Sammy comes into the side. Philip Sammy in jersey number 3, so Brian Kelly out for that one. Uh, you've got Tanner Boyd uh, in the reserves, and that's really about it there. So, uh... Look, I can't pick. I'm really, really struggling. I feel like this game will be really, really close. Really, really tight game. Um, again, I think it'll be a four-pointer that seals the deal. Whether it be high scoring or low scoring, I'm going to go for high scoring, but this really could go either way. I like what I saw from the Broncos the other day. But I'm going to go the Titans. I'm going to give them one more chance. They're at home as well. They've got a really stacked squad this year. So I'm going to go the Titans to win this one by four points. That could be fairly high scoring. Close game. 24 points to 20 in favour of the Gold Coast. The next game sees the Canterbury Bankstown Bulldogs up against the Penrith Panthers. Now, the Panthers obviously coming off a 24-0 win over the Cowboys. And... Uh, the Dogs, they were in the contest, but they were out of the contest in the second half, 32-16 to against the Newcastle Knights. Looking forward to seeing more of Nick Kotrick. I think I was a bit critical of him last week, so looking forward to seeing more of him there. And Corey Allen in the number one jersey as well. I like what I saw of Kyle Flanagan. Um, I like what I saw of Jack Hetherington as well for the side. Honestly, I didn't mind what I saw of uh, Jeremy Marshall King as well. So, you know what? It's... Uh, the Panthers looked really 
average, but they've got a really solid squad, and I'm not tipping against Penrith. I think Penrith will win this game. However, I think this game, and this is a this is probably my biggest crazy tip for the week. The Penrith Panthers will win one to twelve, not thirteen plus. I think Penrith will keep. I think the Dogs, sorry, will keep it close, but not close enough. I can see the Panthers with too many strike weapons scoring too many points in the end, which could take it over that 14. I'm going to take this as a win if it gets to a 14-point win. Anything over 14, consider this as a loss. My tip is the Penrith Panthers, 24 points to 12. I think the Dogs will keep it close in the contest. The Panthers won't be great once again, but as I mentioned, they've got some strike weapons that will score some tries. If the Sea Eagles up against the Rabbitohs, this game's at Lotto Land. We saw the Rabbitohs absolutely whoop Manly's ass in the 2020 season. And uh, I feel like it's going to happen again. Uh, we got Dylan Walker at fullback once again. We got Cade Cuss back in jersey number 14. Uh, we got Lachlan Croker in jersey number 9. I mean, give him another shot, but I didn't like what I saw from him on the weekend at all. There was no running game from him as a hooker. No runs at all. That is really disappointing in the speed of today's game, in my opinion. Um, Josh Mansour has been dropped, and Jackson Paulo, welcome back into the Rabbitohs side. Uh, their bench, Benji Marshall. Jai Arrow, Mark Nichols, and Patrick Margo. As for the Seagull, Jack Jojeski, Tanella Pasecki, Sean Kepi, and Cade Cust. Josh Schuster in jersey number 18. Morgan Harper in jersey number 21. Morgan Boyle out of the side. Yeah, I, I honestly see the Rabbitohs putting on a clinic here. I think we're going to see a really dangerous side that everyone goes, oh, they're going to win the Premiership. Look what they just did. But I don't think that will be the case. Um, I'm taking the Rabbitohs, a nice convincing win here. I'm, I'm going to take the Rabbitohs. You know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you a crazy tip right now as well. It's crazy week. It's crazy week. I'm going to say that in round two on Super Saturday, the 5.30 game and the 7.30 game, both teams that I've picked to win will win by 20 or more points. Bang. There you go. I'm tipping the Rabbitohs by 22 here. Uh, let's go with a scoreline of 32, 38 to 16. 38 to 16. I feel like we'll see some tries from Manly. South's very close to the 40 mark here. 38 to 16 in favour of the MCs. The Cowboys up against the Dragons. Now the Cowboys kept scoreless last week, and the Dragons they uh, they were okay, but they weren't great against the Sharks. Some very tough calls against them, but. Uh, Cowboys at home, tough opponent. So let's have a look at these sides. So you've got uh, not really any changes. Corey Norman is, is he in? Corey Norman is in jersey number six, which means Adam Clune has been dropped into the reserves. I don't know if it's the right move. Um, wow, Adam Clune into the reserves. I thought, I thought he's been great lately. Anyway... Coach doesn't think so. Uh, new coach, Anthony Griffin. As I mentioned, Cowboys tough opponent at home. What's my tip? I think the Cowboys respond from last week. I really like what I saw from them last week. I know they were kept scoreless. I know they weren't fantastic, but I definitely think that they can beat the Dragons here. Still got the Dragons probably around that wooden spoon. They didn't look like a wooden spoon team exactly the other day. I thought the Bulldogs, if anyone, looked like a wooden spoon team. But yeah, I'm taking the Cowboys here by 20. I think they'll win convincingly. Um, I think they'll win 34 points to 14. I think they'll respond in front of the home fan. A nice little win against a quite poor Dragon side, if I'm being honest with you. And Corey Norman being back in the side, I just, I, I can't get a read on it. So, yeah, I'm taking the Cowboys for a nice big win. MC's the West Tigers up against the Roosters. Again, I like what I saw of the West Tigers in the first half. I thought they played quite well against the Raiders, matched against them nicely. Turned up at the second half. They just did not... I don't know where they went. They stayed in the sheds. They were shithouse uh, in that second half. Dane Laurie, fantastic. Carrying this team at fullback. He's got the jer he's got jersey number one this week. Again, really good. Adam Dewey in the six. He's in. Really looking forward to what Adam Dewey can produce. What does that mean for Moses Embai? He's in jersey number 14. And Tommy Talao off the bench in jersey number 17 as well. Now... 
Jared Warrior Hargraves is coming off the bench with Lindsay Collins starting for the Roosters. Very uh, interesting one there. I, I, don't, I don't know. Um, yeah, it's different, isn't it? Uh, Sam Walker named in the reserves in jersey number 20. I want to let you know right now my thoughts on the Suwali situation very quickly. I'm not going to make a video on it because it's just... No, I don't think with these new rules, I don't think he should have been granted the exemption, but calling it right now against the Rabbitohs next week, Roosters, Rabbitoh, just a big little middle finger from the Roosters. Joseph Suwali will debut in jersey number 17 or be named in the reserves and play in and be like 24 hours to kick off your C's name and I reckon he'll play. I reckon Joseph Suwali debuts against his former Rabbitohs team. Now, what do I think of this game? Well, I like what I saw from the Tigers, but I love what I saw from the Roosters. The Roosters were classy. The Roosters and the Tigers, quite often, more, more often than not, it is close. And I'm leaning towards that closeness. So what am I going to do? I'm going to tip the Roosters by 12. I'm going to tip the Roosters 28 points to 16. This game's at Campbelltown. The Tigers don't mind playing there. Roosters, they look good. They look stacked. They've gone with Lachlan Lamb again as their half, so looking forward to seeing him with another shot. But uh, yeah, I'm going to go here with the Roosters, 28 to 16. Brown sees the Cronulla Sharks, who were okay for the most part, uh, up against the Raiders, the Canberra Raiders, who second half team. You can almost bet on the Sharks to lead at half time and fail to win this game, and Canberra to win 13 plus. It's just a given. Uh, you've got Sebastian Chris once again in jersey number three. I thought he did a decent job for Croker. Quiet second half. I'm expecting more from Jack White, and he had a very quiet game, but we've seen just how quality of a, pl of a player he is. Tom Starling in the reserves in jersey number 19. Emre Goula in jersey number 20. He could find himself back into the side soon. Uh, Ryan James retains his spot off the bench with Harvili, Sutton, and Soliola. As for the Sharks, still no Sean Johnson, of course, yet, guys. Matt Moylan and Townsend combination once more. Um, Jesse Ramian's out for this one as well, which is a big loss for my opinion. And Andrew Fafita technically dropped. He's in jersey number 20 in the reserves, so he doesn't make the starting side. Who do I think will win this, guys? Well, I think the Raiders will win it, and I think they'll win it well. Originally, I had the Raiders by 30. Um, I'm going to go against that now and say that the Raiders win by 26. I'm actually going to say that the Raiders win really well here. Uh, this game is at Netstrata Jubilee Stadium, but I can see Canberra putting on a clinic from start to finish. Will they fail to lead at half time? Probably. I don't think so, though. I think they'll lead the whole way, taking the Raiders to defeat the Sharks 36 points to 10 this weekend. My round two tips, let me know yours in the comments. Before this video ends, I want to tell you that I've been doing pretty well in try scorers. Make sure you follow at the Entertain House on Instagram. Kind of erase the best bet segment for now, and we're just doing try scorers only. So I've gone with Blake Ferguson. I'm going to pick six here. Blake Ferguson for mine. I think he'll score in that Storm and Eels game at Bankwest Stadium. Moving on to the Warriors, I feel like one of their forwards will crash over. And uh, I'm going with Eli Katoa here, jersey number 11 against Tyson Frizzell. Eli Katoa as a try scorer in my six. That's two. Two down, four to go. Let's go for a hunt. I'm going to go with Stephen Crichton for the Penrith Panthers. Stephen Crichton, um, I saw some people saying put your house on him last week, but obviously no tries for Stephen Crichton last week. I think it's a different story this week. Let's go to Manly and the Rabbitohs. I'm going with a bit of a roughy here, and I'm going with Jai Arrow. Uh, he's coming off the bench in jersey number 17. I think he'll get quite a bit of game time, and I think he can crash over for one. So that is four of the six. We've got two more. We've got the Cowboys and the Dragons. Well, I've got the Cowboys winning by a significant margin here. So I'm going to take Kyle Felt. I think Kyle Felt will score a try at any time. Kyle Felt. And last one, do we go with Roosters and Tigers or do we go with the Raiders and the Sharks? I'm going to go the Roosters game against the Tigers. I'm going to go with Luke Keary. There we go, six. So there you go. Those are the six try scorers for the week. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Once again, guys, send through a little video congratulating on 100 NRL vlogs. Really greatly appreciate the support. Make sure you check out five hot NRL takes on NRL Round 1, which is a little segment I'm doing each week now. Can't wait for the round ahead. 
I think there are some stinker games, if I'm being honest with you. Really looking forward to next week. But looking forward to attending Bankwest Stadium for the Eels up against the Melbourne Storm. It's going to be a great game on Thursday night. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you smash that like button. I'll see you guys later.